number of people who have called me to buy snails that I couldn't provide for them? You have no idea. I said you have no idea. I'm not bragging. Do you know the number of people who have called me just to ask for snails and I was unable to supply them or unable to give them? Just yesterday, somebody called me. He needs 3,000 pieces of snails. I said, do you know what you are talking about? Where do I get that 3,000 pieces of snails? <laughs> Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. My name is Jack. Welcome to Emptino Business Complex. Today I'm here to share with you some little information about snail farming in Ghana. Ghana is a big country. Ghana is a huge nation. We are lovely people. We eat a lot of things, including snails. Now, when we were young, our parents or our dads only go to the farm to bring snails. Until we discovered, <coughs> sorry, until we discovered that snails can be reared as the way we rear chicken and goat. Normally, snails are always brought from the farm, the bush, before we can enjoy it. But it has gotten to a point when we have discovered that the number or the quantity of snails that we consume per year in our country is alarming. And it has been discovered and it has been noticed that about 70% of the snails we consume in Ghana are imported. Can you believe this? All the snails we, we consume in Ghana are imported from other countries. That means if we live in our own country, a population of 30 million plus to 40 million, now they are doing the census, so we are waiting for the outcome. Possibly by the end of July, everything will be intact. Then we are going to find out the total number of or the citizens, the population that we have in Ghana. Okay, fine. Let's do this simple calculation. Imagine currently, okay? Currently, imagine we are 30,000 people. 30,000. One, two, three. Then, one third. Sorry, did I say 30,000? Sorry. 30 million. One, two, three. One, two, three. Then one third of 30 million eat snails in Ghana. So let's divide 30 million by three. So 10 million people in Ghana eat snails. Let's take it like that. And let's say 20 million of the population do not eat snails. So if only 10 million people in Ghana eat snails, and Ghana cannot produce snails to feed these 10 million people. Where is our future? It means there is so much potential that anybody can tap into. Now, let me shock you where Ghana, ship, uh, Ghana imports snails from. Ghana imports snails from Ivory Coast. All right. In 2019, the top partner countries from which Ghana import all products, including China, United States, United Kingdom, and India, and Belgium. No, that's not what I'm, I'm looking for. Ghana imports. Okay, I made a wrong research. In 
In 2020, in 2020, Côte d'Ivoire, that is Ivory Coast, was the main supplier of snails to Ghana, accounting for approximately... Okay, they couldn't bring the percentage, but it was in tons. So let me read further and see. That means we are importing thousands of tons of snails like seriously what happened let me scroll to it. okay so i want to show you something i want to show you something uh import index i don't know if you can see me clearly but let me try my best so that you can see me Okay, so let, let me continue from where I ended. Let me show you something here. This is index box. Index box. Now, I'm going to show you snail consumption in Ghana from 2007 to 2015. And then I will show you the uh, production volume. I will show you the export and then I will show you the import. All right. So let's go quickly. Period between 2017, I'm oh, sorry, 2017-2015. This was updated in May 20, 26th May 2021. So just last month. All right. Consumption volume in tons. In 2007, there was no figure up to 2012. In 2013, 0 0.21, 0 0.2, uh, 0 0.1. So 0 0.1, 2013, 2014, 0.2, 2015, 0 0.1. Consumption in millions, 2007, 0 0.1 million, 2008, 0 0.1 million, 2009, 0 0.0000. So the highest figure was in 2014. 0 0.7 million US dollars. So that means there has been a quantity. Uh, production value in 2007, 0, 80, 29, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. That means in Ghana, we don't actually produce much snails. That is in tons. We don't produce much snails. Okay, let's look at the importation. 2007, we imported 0 0.0 million. 2008, 0 0.0, 0 0.1, 2009, 0, 2010, 0, 2011, 0, 2012, 0, 2013, 0 0.1, 2014, 0 0.1, 2015, 0. Export value in tons. Ghana has not exported snails since 2007 to 2015. It has declined totally. That means in 2007, 2008, 2013, 2014, we imported snails. You understand? Okay. That means we have not been able to feed ourselves to the point of exporting. I don't know if you get my point. Yeah. Hmm. So, basically, all that we are trying to talk about here is that Ghana has the potential of producing snails, but we don't have anybody to produce the snails. We are talking in millions here. Okay, now let us look at uh, the export import price per kg. In 2007, 0 or 4.7 kg. Okay, let me see. 
So let me use ton and let's see. If we use US dollar per ton, that means we imported 4,000 tons in 2007, 2008, that was the amount of money that we threw away to go and buy snail from other people. Yes. Okay. Then we also have the export price here. I don't want to be bombarding your ears with all this kind of stuff. All that I'm trying to prove to you is that Ghanaians import snails. Meanwhile, we can buy more other stuff, maybe cars or build houses instead of using the money to import snails. Whilst we have the capacity and the capability of producing snails ourselves in the country. So, my brother, my sister, if you are in this country and you are here, you are a young boy like my type, and you have joined the unemployed graduate association, and you are crying, there are no jobs, you need money, and you cannot go into snail farming. This is the proof that snails are being imported into Ghana in millions. Meanwhile, you and me, we are crying for money. Why don't we take this initiative, this opportunity, stand in the gap, and then break the protocol? Tomorrow, I will come and buy. The next day, somebody will come and buy. The next, within one week, it will finish. You won't even be able to export it. So stop thinking about the market. The snails are in demand in high quantity. Do you know the number of people who have called me to buy snails that I couldn't provide for them? You have no idea. I said you have no idea. I'm not bragging. Do you know the number of people who have called me just to ask for snails and I was unable to supply them or unable to give them? Just yesterday, somebody called me. He needs 3,000 pieces of snails. I said, do you know what you are talking about? Where do I get that 3,000 pieces of snails? <laughs> Don't joke. Very soon, I will be going back home and I will be starting, I will be setting up farms for people. Someone called me from Canada that I should, he want to give me a contract so that I can set up a farm for him. Sorry, for her. Yeah. I have about three or four friends in Canada. Yeah, one of them. I think when she listens, she will know. Yes. Uh, I think she is in the Eastern region. But I directed her to somebody. So I will be helping people, whether you are in the diaspora, whether you are in the country, I will meet you, I will set up your farm for me, for you, I will be your manager, I will be your consultant, I will do everything for you, just for a small fee. I will bring the men on board, we will redesign, we will strategize, we will make a business plan for you. If you don't have one, we will guide you through, we will train somebody, we will take care of your farm from time to time, we will come around to visit your farm, and then you will be making millions. I wanted to go to school, but from the look of things, I've been advised from two or three elderly men who just told me, I beg, quit that school and start your own thing. I have a little bit of knowledge. But you see, the more you know, the more you know that you don't know. So I'm still doing research every day. Every day I decide to do more research. So see, if you think there are no market for snails, Make a research for yourself. This is how I came into contact with this. A young boy, I don't know what to do. What can I do to make money? I don't know. Because even after college, you will not get a job. If you get a job, it will be a decent one. How much can they pay you? So we work for people all the time. 
They make all the money. They give us peanuts as profit. So imagine you are able to raise about 60,000 pieces of snails in your farm in two years' time. Or let's say, let's say, okay, let me make it maximum. I, I, I'm just, I don't want to exaggerate. So let me make it maximum. You make 60,000 pieces of snails. So let's do this. 60, 1, 2, 3. 1,000 pieces of snails in five years. In five years, okay? So, then you decide to sell just a piece for four Ghana cities. So, 60,000 times four cities. 240,000 Ghana cities divided by five years. How did I make this? 200 and 214, 1, 2, 3. Divided by five. 48,000 Ghana cities. That means every year, as a young boy, you make 480 million old currency. Which company is going to pay you that money? Snails are not going to be running around that. You'll be running helter skelter to, to catch them and bring them into their pen. They're not going to eat anybody's product or produce or items and then give you problem. Snails don't smell. They don't bite. They don't kill. The only thing you need to do is to keep them neat, give them food, protect them, guide, be around. You can be doing extra things and you'll be taking care of your farm at the same time. This money alone will build a house for you. As a young boy, why are we wasting our times? You can set your own snail barbecue joint. You'll be, see, hotels will be begging you. Restaurants will be begging you. People in the diaspora will be asking you to ship to them. This is a big time mind blowing business. You need to be focused and you need to be conscious of what you want. You don't have to sit down and then go and work for people, be a slave for them all the time before you can get a peanut from them. Should there is somebody who come and buy it. Within one week, it will finish. You won't even be able to export it. So stop thinking about the market. The snails are in demand in high quantity. Do you know the number of people who have called me to buy snails that I couldn't provide for them? You have no idea. I said you have no idea. I'm not bragging. Do you know the number of people who have called me just to ask for snails and I was unable to supply them or unable to give them. Just yesterday, somebody called me. He needs 3,000 pieces of snails. I said, do you know what you are talking about? Where do I get that 3,000 pieces of snails? 